Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.8, number 37. And here we were given some data and asked to find a logarithmic model. So the first thing I want to do is put my data in my lists. And I already put it in here before I started what, um, the video. And like always, make sure that you have the same number of data values in L1 as you do in L2. They need to match up. If they don't, your, your um, calculator will punch back an error to you. And then another thing to just be aware of, because I, I had some reports of, hey, I was having calculator issues. Just make sure you don't have any plots on right now. Just reset your calculator, right? So for every problem, clear out all your y equals, turn all of your plots off, and let's just make sure that we're starting fresh here. And then I can turn my, my plot back on, right? I've got L1 against L2. And if I hit zoom 9, oops, let me turn it on. All right, there's my graph, and they're saying, hey, go fit a logarithmic model to that. Okay, let's do it. So I'm going to hit stat. I'm going to do calc and logarithmic regression. It's actually technically natural logarithmic regression in your calculator. It's option 9. So you can scroll all the way down to 9 and hit enter. I'm going to I'm just going to hit the number 9. Well, actually, that's what I would do, but let me, let me scroll down just for the sake of scrolling so you see it. But I'm lazy. I don't want to scroll. There we go. So be careful, right? LN is different than LIN. This is linear regression, which we did back um, in chapter four. This is logarithmic regression. So I want option nine. Like always, we want L1 against L2, and I will drop it into Y1. And I'll come back to the screen in a moment. That's my logarithmic function. Let me hit zoom nine. And then you can see that my logarithmic model is, is doing a pretty decent job, right? It's hitting most of the points in that scatter plot. All right, but in terms of, oh, the data went away. Let me just rerun this one more time. In terms of answering this question, it's saying, hey, find this logarithmic model. So my A value, you can see from my calculator, it's 5.063. And my B value over here, because it says B, L, and X, just like it says in your calculator, is 1.934. So that would be my logarithmic model, y equals 5.063 plus 1.934 LNX. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.